Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Well, guys, once again, I welcome you to this video where I'm going to give you a little piece of advice to get your desired band. Sometimes, you know, you are going on a journey and you stop in the middle and then suddenly comes and says, Hey, why have you stopped? Come on, get up, let's go. And then you start your journey again. And there are some people who come around and say, Hey, you have stopped walking towards your destination. All right, don't stop here. Go back home. Okay, they send us back home. So anyways, well, guys, let me just tell you. If today IELTS is difficult for you, so was the difficulty or you it was also difficult for you in the past to wear your clothes on your own when you were very very small you were unable to put on your own clothes that was very difficult and today without any problem you can do it so if today is today IELTS is difficult for you tomorrow IELTS can be easy for you it depends how you cover the distance from today to tomorrow see that all of us are traveling all of us are going towards our destination right now some destinations are known and decided and some destinations are unknown undecided some of us reach unknown undecided destinations some of us reach decided and known destinations and we call them successful this is the difference between failures and successful people the failures they reach unknown destinations and the successful people they reach their desired destinations so coming back to the point if today IELTS is difficult for you tomorrow it will not be because your tomorrow is my today imagine around many years ago when I interacted with IELTS my first interaction with IELTS was horrible I was unable to catch the audio reading flew over my head not over my head it flew over my whole body actually it flew over the clouds or sky I couldn't understand anything at the end I realized IELTS is something which I cannot do but there came a friend who said IELTS no problem do this do that practice this there and you'll be fine you know some casual guys but he changed my life about IELTS so actually my today is your tomorrow wow i'm not a motivational speaker not at all i'm your ielts trainer okay my today is your tomorrow when you are going to reach your tomorrow you will say ielts is easy ielts is simple and many of you will teach ielts will guide other people about ielts many of you will guide your friends your colleagues your relatives and other people about IELTS and I know some of you will make your own IELTS YouTube channel as well huh okay this is awesome so how to travel from today to tomorrow how to convert your weakness into strength that's what you guys have to do let's talk about listening if in IELTS listening you take a practice test and you realize list of headings is very difficult for me, matching type of questions is very difficult for me, I don't understand their accent, you need to practice from the grassroot level. I don't want you to stay because you know we, whatever we say, whatever we say politically and all that, we belong to third world countries. We belong to relatively poor countries and in our uh, lifespan, our countries are not going to make that much progress. And if we want to see the progress, human progress, we have to go to those countries which are developed like Australia, Canada, New Zealand, England and whatever your destination is. So in order to enjoy that, you have to leave these grounds and you need to land those progressed countries where everything is possible where human is treated as a human not animal okay anyway sorry about that but now let's see how to cover this distance so you need to identify once you identify now if i know i have pain in my arm 
I go to the doctor and I say, doctor, straight away, I've got pain in my arm. Right? Doctor will give me medicine. My arm is going to be all right. If I go to the doctor, say, doctor, 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 I'm not well. Doctor asks me, what's the problem? I don't know, doctor. I'm not well. I'm going to die, doctor. Doctor asks me again, what's the problem? I say, I don't know. The doctor is going to kick me out of his yeah, clinic or he's going to put me through MRI and all that stuff. Anyways, identify your problem. Let me tell you, you are the best teacher of yourself. When you start teaching yourself, yourself, most definitely you are going to be very, very successful. I taught myself each and everything about IELTS. If today I teach IELTS, the tips, techniques, everything I give you guys, I invented them myself. I discovered them myself. As I practiced, I realized I came across difficulty. I solved, I turned my difficulties into solutions, into, into you know, I, saw, I converted my problems into solutions and all that. And today I can guide you. So you need to be serious about yourselves. You need to be serious towards IELTS serious dedicated right hard working and you know repetition is the mother of learning repetition is the repeat after me repetition is the mother of learning if you take ielts listening tests repeatedly today you get 10 correct answers tomorrow 11 then 13 with learning repetition with mistakes repetition without learning is a curse if you repeatedly do, you know, sometimes the government officials, some of the people, they say, I've been working on this seat for 25 years and I've been doing this thing in the same way for 25 years. So repetition without learning, repetition for the sake of repetition. Some people speak wrong English repeatedly. They never improve. Repetition with learning is the mother. A repetition uh, with new learning is actually the mother of all the successes in life. You learn driving by driving every day, right? It's just like that. So repeatedly take listening tests. Now, let's talk about reading. And you can find my videos very, very useful for listening module, especially my study plan. Now, let's talk about reading. As far as reading is concerned, many students say reading. Ah, Yeah, they give a loud shriek. When it comes to reading, some are like this, IELTS reading, I don't understand. Some become offensive, IELTS reading. Punjabi, yeah. So, I mean, listen, the first thing is you need to change your reaction to the action of IELTS reading. The first thing. The second, try to take interest in the type of passages they give you in academic as well as in gender training reading and i give you another piece of advice just do one thing before starting your reading there are three passages three titles of the passages just type those titles of the passages in uh, youtube right just type them on youtube search and then watch a little documentary about it and you will find the documentaries the other day i was watching a documentary which was all about uh, i read an article about uncontacted tribes so uncontacted tribes i wrote and i found a documentary of uh, brazilian uncontacted tribes means nobody ever contacted them and like that okay and they're still living like the stone age and all that so there are three passages try to watch some because you know this is how you can convert the lifeless words into visuals and when you what you read you visualize that you understand that better so i advise you when you are at the practice stage when you're just practicing type the title of the passage in youtube and watch a little documentary this is how you can improve your knowledge vocabulary and you will have something to imagine your understanding will improve as well and then identify which area is weak reading part one is weak or part three is weak reading true false not given that is the weak area or list of headings that is the weak area and literally i have covered every centimeter of aisles now i don't use the word inch inch is larger than centimeter i have covered every millimeter of aisles so you can just watch my videos there are study plans there are videos, there are playlists on my channel where I have solved full listening tests, 
full reading tests full writing tests and full speaking tests you can just help will take help from there at the end i tell you resources are all around us it's not the resources it's our own resourcefulness how we use those resources i have this mobile with me right it is our resource now it is my own resourcefulness whether i use this mobile to improve my ielts skills or i waste my time by watching faceless videos or useless uh, uh, programs and all that it depends on me and by the way i've got two mobiles and both my mobiles they are full of information about ielts and this and that and all that right so this is what we call resourcefulness resource mobile resourcefulness how you use your mobile now you guys have internet that is a resource now it is your resourcefulness how you use the internet that is going to make all the difference so guys for the time being utilize all the resources and turn the energies of your resourcefulness towards ielts you're watching smart tv watch something on ielts you're using your mobile do some listening so whatever you do during this 4 to 8 week period you have to turn all your resourcefulness towards ielts and you know whatever we start focusing in our life that thing starts growing whatever we focus once upon a time i focused my ielts teaching skill and it has grown now you guys can see once upon a time i focused my pathetic english language my english language was broken i used to break the legs and arms of english i focused that and today at least i can communicate in english language right so whatever you start focusing on in life it will start growing this is very very simple i'm not a motivational speaker you know once upon a time i wanted to be but i couldn't become but anyways now uh, this is all up to you how to make progress in your life remember our tomorrow is not in our hand but our today is always in hand and whatever we are going to do today that is going to directly influence that is going to directly reflect our future so if we do good things if we do some effort today in the future in tomorrow we will be able to eat the fruit if we don't sow the seeds we will not find the fruit if we sow the seeds today we will find the fruit tomorrow and the fruit after ielts which you are going to get believe you me there will be a gigantic tree if today you sow ielts seed you get your desired ban you go to your destination country in you there will be a gigantic tree full of fruit and the fruit that gigantic tree is going to bear will not only benefit you it will benefit you your nuclear family your relatives the people of your community and above all it is going to actually it is going to give some value to your country there will be valuable foreign exchange which you are going to send your country and your country will make progress as well so think big be a gigantic tree and when you are going to be a gigantic tree thousands of people even you know the birds come to the trees and they make their nests in the trees and this is how one tree benefits thousands of species and creatures and all that you are going to be one of those and we will see we will see to it very soon you know life is going on very fast after a couple of years after 3 4 5 years it will be you who is going to send me a message and i'll read the message along with your selfie from toronto from melbourne right from brisbane from london that is sir look this is me and i watched your videos and i reached here and now i'm quite settled here i got married and got the small babies as well right you know english babies that will be something amazing so so you need to do it all and then you will get that magic wand magic wand whatever you touch will turn into gold all the best thank you very much 
I am not a motivational speaker. I am your IELTS teacher. Whatever I spoke, that was directly from my heart, and hopefully you should have received it not from your ears but from your heart. All the best. I also teach IELTS online all over the world and on campus here in Lahore. If you want to be the part of my online or on campus IELTS classes, my WhatsApp number is given. You can contact me for that. Asad Yaqub truly wishes you best and best of luck. Take care. Allah Hafiz.